Greetings, YouTube. I'm wearing my new Obey Cthulhu t-shirt. My wife has, has one as well. It's in black. Um, I would find myself thinking about superpowers, mostly because I was pondering the Deadpool movie. I was kind of playing some ideas. I still haven't done my review yet. Um, and I thought about minor powers, kind of inspired by um, the Wild Card series, which I highly recommend. Um, at least all the books I read, the stories I read, and I read a lot of them, um, were very good and I really enjoyed them. I mean, they're not perfectly even. Some are better than others. They're done by many different authors. But I love the idea of superheroes and kind of founded in the real world in a way that really seemed to mesh. And I thought about minor powers. So people who have superpowers, the superpowers are not a negative. So they're not like mutation flaws. They're just minor powers. I'll give you some examples. Someone that always knows everyone's name. Someone who can locate all coins within 10 meters. I guess they never have to worry about change of the phone. Um, someone who can always plot themselves to the exact longitude and latitude anywhere at any time. They can't tag anything. They can just tell you exactly where they are. Hopefully they understand what that means by learning some orienteering. Those are the kinds of things I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of. Minor powers. And then I was thinking, okay, so you've got these minor powers. And uh, knacks, I think you might call them um, in some settings. And what do you do with them? How do you incorporate them into a character? Now, some of them might allow you to build a character around, and some might just be a nice augmentation to a career path the person takes because of their knack. And then some might just be an ancillary aspect of the person's life that really doesn't have anything to do with their career, but they still have this thing that they can do. Um, and it can just add a little dimension to their character. They're a metahuman in only the most generous definition. So I thought, okay, the first example I gave you, someone that always knows everyone's name. What would you do with that? And we're going to say that the power manifests itself in the classic at puberty. So at puberty, suddenly this person has the ability to know everyone's name. He just went, he or she walks up to someone and boom. Bill! Wanda! Mustafa! Always knows everyone's name. What do you do with that? You become a face. You become a salesperson. You become a politician. And you hone your skills. You use your wedge of knowing that person's name to establish, immediately establish a rapport with someone. Because by having that, you've kind of gotten past their barriers a little. You've kind of put a foothold in their psyche and then you can move forward because you've given them the impression you have an established rapport with them that there is some dynamic between the two of you even if they can't 100% remember why you know their name that means something doesn't it so the person really does a good job of this during high school they get onto the school council, maybe they become class something or other, maybe the class president. They go off to college and they take political science courses. They take acting. And they combine the two. They get better and better at submerging themselves behind that mask. And they use this to get themselves a good internship. And then they use that to get themselves 
a minor executive role afterwards. And then they will start working on it. By the time they're 28, they're a VP. You figure out what kind of company, doesn't matter. And they keep keep going. They've honed their skill. They are absolutely the face. And then they begin to move into politics. Maybe something really minor. Uh, lots of lots of places, hey, say, have a, a minimum age you can be a politician. Uh, like, for example, a president, they can't be 36. But I heard, I heard today on some news bit, bit that in one state at least, you have to be 30 to be a state representative. So the person begins to move into it. They get elected to some city level job. They hold that for a couple of years, two, three years maybe. And then they start moving into the state level. By the time they're 32, 33, they've established themselves at the state level. They're very comfortable. They're well known. They've started to make conflict, con con connections on a very broad base. They've started to reach out beyond the state level. They aren't quite known on the national scale yet, but within their party, they're known outside their state. Then they re they go for the, the the brass ring, and they get elected governor, and they pull in a solid two terms, whatever length term your state has. It varies from state to state in the U.S. Yeah, I'm being U.S. centric here, but it's the system I know best. And all the while, they're still working on their business acumen building up, building up. And the more contacts they make, they get themselves onto a number of board of directors positions. They start to really sink their feelers everywhere. There isn't a, a corner of the state that they are in that they don't have a contact, both above board and below board. Because they're not stupid enough not to realize that there are aspects of their state that are not run by the law abiding. They're never so stupid as to get themselves into something that could actually get them thrown in jail, but they know the people that are movers and shakers on both sides of the law. And they're learning how to play them off each other, and they're learning how to move forward using these people as allies, or at least as neutrals. And where do they go next? Well, of course, there's Congress. A couple tours of Congress. Either house will matter. It doesn't really matter. They're really powerful at this point. They're running around. They're a millionaire. Not, 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 they're not in a billionaire stage yet, but they're a millionaire. They got a lot of money. I mean, I know how to put it in the places it matters. They know how to get the dirt on people now in a way that a lot of politicians may not. So what you've got here is someone that could become the classic supervillain. Political connections, business connections, fingers into the underworld. A Donald Trump, a Lex Luthor. Really mover and shaker. Now, I don't know if this would be a great character for a player character, unless you're running a system that is all about power play, and then, you know, the sky's the limit. But in a supers game, for example, they would be awesome as someone in the background that's plucking strings. Maybe they've got the supers on their side to a proxy. Maybe it doesn't reveal until quite deep that they're the ones behind what's going on in the lives of the player characters. And by the time they figure it out, they're in deep. They're compromised. What do they do? How do they extract themselves from the situation when there's nowhere to go that this person doesn't have a connection? And everywhere this person goes, they know everybody's name. Smile on their face, firm handshake, right tone in their voice, right 
September. It's almost a purr. It almost goes right into your ear. It helps make that guard go down a little bit more. Trust them just a smidge thing more than maybe you would otherwise. They are the consummate salesperson, business person, politician. If you knew me well, you'd know what an insult that is. They always know your name. And by this point, they probably know your family. Where they live, where they eat, where they go to school. How much they pay in taxes. How much insurance they have on their house. You know, just a just in case something. So, here's my suggestion. I would like you to come up with a minor power. You can borrow one of the ones I mentioned or come up with your own and build a character around it. Also, for a bonus round, tell me what would you do with the face I just described? How would you use that person? Where would they go? What would they do? Would they go for the ultimate and try to become president? Or do they realize that the real power isn't in that public spotlight so much, but it's in a comfortable position of solid political and business security? They're behind the curtain. They're pulling all those strings. Tell me, what are your minor powers? And what would you do with the face?